So guys, a very simple interview question um, that you have to find out those numbers from this array, which is starting with one. Like it's like one of the easiest simple interview question. It's easy, nahi ho sakta kuch bhi. So how to solve it? You can see that one twenty three, one twenty three, and one sixty seven. So one one twenty three and one sixty seven is starting with one. So how to solve it? It's pretty simple. So I'll do one thing. I'm just going to create one simple, simple method here, generic method, public static void. Let's see, get number method here. Get numbers list method, which is starting with one. And this method is taking this particular integer array. So let's take this particular array over here as a parameter. And then we have to return those numbers, which is starting with one. So I'm going to create one list of uh, integer also. And then I'll keep storing those numbers in this particular list. So I'm writing that uh, numbers, which is equal to new uh, array list. And then this is with the integer here, right? And then I'm just going to loop this particular array that we are passing with the typical for each loop or for loop. Also, we can use it here. So I simply say, okay, fine. Let's start with integer a number. Or let's write number. You go to this particular array one by one, and then I'm um, just see this adding one condition. So how will you add this particular condition? What will be the logic here? So logic, if you open your calculator, you will get to know. So let's see. I'm looking for one sixty seven. So I simple say one sixty seven. You divide this number by ten. So I'm right. Divide by ten is equal to what sixteen point seven. And whenever you are Dividing a number and both numbers are integer, so then the resultant also will be integer. So I'm removing point seven from here. So what will you get here? Sixteen from here. So again, the sixteen I'm adding. Sorry, divided by ten here, and then I'm getting what? One point six here. Removing point six, what are you getting? One here. It means that number is starting with one. Right. Same thing. Let's see with one twenty three. It's pretty simple. One twenty three divided by ten. So what will you get here? You will be getting twelve point three. Then remove point three from here. Then what will you get? Twelve. Twelve again. You divide by ten. So you have to write a for loop kind of thing or while loop kind of thing, and then remove point one from here. Then you are getting one. So in that case, it's again pretty simple. That okay, fine. That one means I got that number. It means one twenty three is starting also one here. But let's see. I'm talking about forty five. Forty five again. You divide by ten. And then forty five is divided by ten is equal to point five. No, four is not equal to one. That in that case, this number is not starting with one. So simple solution that we have to write here. So I'll one put one condition here that here I'm writing one condition, and in this particular condition, I'm that writing here that whatever the number, just to get that exact digit, I'm creating another simple function over here. Let's see another public static integer because I'm dividing this problem into two. uh two different methods so let's see i'm writing that get first <coughs> digit over here and then here you just need to supply that particular number here so let's supply that number here so public is static uh, this number and then we will return the first digit here so how will you do that i simply write one while loop here whatever the number that you are passing it should be what it first of all it should be greater than equal to 10 right okay And then, if it is greater than equal to ten, then I'll do one thing. That number is equal to number divided by ten. That is what we have to use. And then, once you get that particular number, after the while loop, I simply say return the number from here. That's it, right? So I'm just simple returning that specific number. Get first digit number. So let's see if the number is what. If the number is one twenty three, it will divide. Keep dividing until the condition is greater than equal to ten. Right, so one twenty three. See, I'm writing one twenty three divided by ten, which is giving you twelve point three. Point three will be removed again. Divided by ten, it is giving you what one here. And then I'm writing one condition here that if what, then I'll write a condition here in this particular method. So I'll do one thing first. I'll be calling this particular method here. So let's call it get first, and whatever the number that you are passing from the array, you call it right because we are iterating with the number with this particular array. And then I'm storing in this number n, which is equal to this. And then I'm writing one condition that if n is equal to equal to one, then do what? 
then you just keep adding that numbers i mean adding that particular number in the numbers list here so numbers dot add method i'm writing and then i'm adding that particular num here so this is that's it and then once everything is done return the same list numbers list from here and whenever you are returning it instead of void that we have to return type will be the list of integer right so what will happen if i'm passing let's see one so one will be given to this particular function so let's quickly do this particular calculation one is greater than equal to 10 no so immediately it will return one so n will become what n will become one one is equal to equal to one yes it will be added in this list perfect then let's talk about 23 then 23 is greater than 10 yes so 23 divided by 10 which is equal to what which is equal to 2 right and then after that again it will start the while loop here again it will go and check that uh, uh, 2 is greater than equal to 10 no then return the number number is equal to 2 2 will be returned back 2 is equal to equal to 1 no that's it right so this is what a simple logic that we have written so once we get so let me just simple call this particular function get numbers list function and uh, here and whatever the array that we are passing we will supply it here and then i'll directly print it on the console system dot print allen and then this one so you can solve this problem with the help of streams also with the help of uh, strings also but interviewer is actually interested in this logic so when you run this program let's see what is output you see that 1 123 167 we are getting it all these three numbers are starting with one right let's quickly check that if i'm passing let's see 110 1112 and then i'm passing 901 let's see 91 and then 19 also then let's see what happens then again i'm running it and then all the numbers i'll be getting which is starting with one only 1 123 167 1011 12 and 19 over here make sure this is a pure integer number and then uh, let's see let's check with the three digit number also 111 one triple one and then 11 that we have already tested let's take one 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 like this also so all these three numbers also starting with one and if i'm running it and then the same formula should work with this also here so all these numbers starting with one pretty simple very straightforward so if you use simple mathematics if you are using it here then you just need to keep divide by 10 because your target is that from each number the first digit that you have to pick and that's it this is what uh, like one of the simplest interview questions someone can ask this question actually somebody asked me just now so i thought of covering and preparing a quick video on this i hope this is clear that's all